like a man right now. Burning in a hopeless dream. You're reading the lyrics. Z is just going off right now. Is this recording? It says record. Oh. Oh, no. Here you go, Dan. Good morning. Today is actually the day. I'm feeling super good, like, and let me tell y'all why. I don't have time today to sit here and even let worry get in my mind. Anxiety, all these things, that's not even from God. My bad, my gospel music was up super loud, but I told y'all, like, the Mia Iowa, um, I had slipped up on a track and I had just gave up, you know, mentally and like physically. Like I just stopped running for real on the track. Like I didn't want to keep finishing the race. I mean, I finished, but I didn't finish the, like good as what I needed to. So, with that being said, um, after that had happened, I had got in my head and I kept telling myself like, oh, I don't know how to run a bank track anymore. I just can't do. It. I'm gonna keep on tripping. I'm gonna keep on doing this, this, that, 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 that. And then the following week after, like at the homie, you know. I tripped. I didn't trip, but like um, I started fighting myself, getting tight because I felt somebody on me, and I gave up. You know, I'm saying all that just to say that I'm not gonna give up while I'm here. You know, because none of that's gonna happen. Because I was just reading. You know, the enemy's biggest weapon that he used against us is negativity. So all these false little things that's trying to come in my head telling me that I don't know how to run a bank track, or Z, you tripped on a track last time, so you might as well about to do it again. I'm not listening to none of that because one of those, first of all, them things do not stem from God or from the God that I serve. So I don't have to listen to those things, you know. And I want to tell y'all that, like, we have a choice. Because we, just because it's in our head, that doesn't mean that we have to sit here and make action of it. Because nine times out of ten, most of our thoughts soon what we would typically do. We would believe these distractions and then we have made them to reality and now they turn into action when all it did was come from here. So why is it now being brought out to, you feel me? When it was never supposed to do that in the first place, but we allowed it to do that. So that's what I'm saying. That's my advice to y'all and to me myself. Like, just because we have a negative thought, you know, service in our head or going on in our head, whether it's go ongoing or whether it's just short and sweet and it's just there, it's up to us to either allow it to sift and simmer or just to block it out and you know go ahead and submit it to God and that's what I'm doing today and from the days to come like every negative thought that comes from I mean every negative thought that surface that comes in my head I'm going to submit it to him you know and today I'm going to submit my day up towards him because I don't have time to fear fear is false evidence appearing real you know it's not real at all it's just false evidence appearing real so why sit here and fret and be scared when God told me that to be strong and courageous you know and that he would never leave nor forsake me so that's how I'm feeling this morning I'm feeling good so now it's over now it's over because when I get this mindset and when I start feeling like this I'm telling you now nobody I'm about to get ready. I gotta go shake y'all downstairs. It's seven o'clock, seven something. Just know it's about to be seven thirty. It's early, and I'm finna go downstairs and shake out with the team. And then after that, we are gonna eat some breakfast. So I got y'all when I come back up here. Bye. I'm finna eat. Cantaloupe, toast, potatoes, bacon, orange juice, sip hater. Why are you sitting over there? You're rude. No, don't try to get in here because you don't want to sit over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Munch, stop munching. <laughs> Y'all, English is not his first language, so he's a loser. <laughs> yeah. They ain't big bad. You might as well eat the whole. It's a trick. You get French toast and put the bacon in the inside, and then you roll it like it's a burrito, and then you dip in the syrup. Voila. My bad, Dan. I heard it. My bad. I'm, sorry. I'm not going to run till 2.15, and we leave to go on to the bus at 12 o'clock. So until then, I'm just sitting here getting my mind ready, y'all. And um, I'm ready. Yo, girl, is ready. Yo, girl, is ready. No, for real. So. 
Today I'm gonna do some big things today. I'm gonna go all out on this 200. I'm not saving nothing in the tank. I'm just gonna put it all out there on the gram. So that's all I have to say right now. I just want you to see that. Um, you go to here. I'm ready, and I will see y'all when I get to the track. What's up, y'all? I'm here at the track. Uh, I'm trying to make this real quick because my coach already told me to put my camera on. <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry up and do a little clip in, but I'm here, so I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I can. Okay, he about to come back. Great start by the Illini, Bryant. Really great start as she is taking control of this race early. Oh, that is an athlete who might have been in the wrong heat, showing some great fitness. Azaria Bryant of Illinois absolutely taking control as Perry of NAU moves into second. But it looks like it's going to be all Bryant with a great time. 23-8-1. Wow, as I said it, she breaks up that top three. And that is the second fastest time of the day. By Azaria Bryant, 23-7-9, corrected, and it is the Second fastest time of the day. Yeah, she's going to slot right in between Nataja Ballard of Alabama and Alyssa Conyers of UCLA. Wow, Heat 6 throwing in the second fastest time of the day. Great race. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I just finished my race and I PR. I'm going to get back on here when I catch my breath because right now it's not catching. Good morning, y'all. It's Devontae Ford again. I'm back here in New Mexico. Say hey, Kiana. Um, I don't run today, so I'm full of energy. I feel great, man. I run tomorrow. Um, I got the 60 hurdles and the um, 400, bro. Yes, y'all. I'm running the open 400, bro. So y'all know I get busy in the 400, bro. I do. I'm a 400 hurdler, though. A lot of people don't know that, bro. I'm doing so good in these 60 hurdles out here that everybody thinks that I'm a, uh, I'm a um, 60 hurdler. I'm not. But um, yeah, I'm a. Um, this is a little mini four takeover. So I'm gonna tune in with y'all in a second, man. I got y'all. So um, the question is, if you could be elite in an event that's not one of your main events, what event do you think you could be elite at? Okay, so I am with... It's okay. <laughs> if you guys could be elite in an event that's not your current event, what would it be? Any event we wanted to be at? Okay, I'm gonna stick with the same answer as well. Yes, you could. You I'm gonna have to say a long jump because I don't think I'd be good at anything else. You think you'd be good at long jump? No, no, no. Okay. 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 I'll tell you. No, scratch that, scratch that. Okay, I ran hurdles in high school. Let's just go hurdles. <laughs> Shit, okay. No, I'm not fast. Like, if you could do any other event that you think you'd be good at, what would it be? So, since I'm a 400 hurdler, does the 400 count? Or does it have to be like... No, it can't be the 400. Okay, um... I'd be a great 200 runner, honestly. Like, okay. my top end speed okay. is crazy. I finish crazy. Okay. I have the strength and endurance speed. Okay. I have another question for you. If you could be elite at any field event, what do you think you could do? Yeah. Don't you dare say high jump. Long jump. I can't. I don't have the body for triple. I don't no have pole. the height See, for long. That's what my thing is about long. I think pole vault will be taking because I, I'm really good at taking these stuff. That's Z behind me, y'all. She just ran her 200. She actually did pretty good, bro. I personally would have rolled her, but I mean, that's a bad event. She's right there. You see her? Oh, oops. Yeah, she's kind of locked in. She's probably looking at her results. We couldn't even talk to Coco. Okay, I'm here with... Tutoria. Okay, so the question is, outside of your main event, what event do you believe that you can be the elite at? The 200. The 200 meter dash. The 200 meter dash. Yeah. Uh, because I ran a 24, like what, four last year with no training or anything. Not too much. So if I train, I will be running about a good 21. I, I believe that she could be fast, but I don't know about 20, 21 fast. I, mean, um, I believe in it, so that's what I'm She, I run 21 actually, so. No, you don't. I do. In your dreams. Okay, now this is um, Coco Batty Takeover. So, um, yeah, so I high jumped today and we're just not going to talk about it, okay? Really. She did too. Stop, Monica. But 
all I have to say is I'm very um, sick right now. So I feel like that played a big factor. So, um, excuse me. So, um, yeah. Just be ready to watch Big Ten. I'm coming back 30 times harder. And I'm coming for everybody. Yeah. I got a deal on it. What a radio. Oh, yeah, I got a deal on mine too. <laughs> Only pay like Le one forty. I got a deal on mine too. I'll let you out. Hold me down. Hold it down. What's the rest of the song? Where you live? What's the rest of the song? I look like a ghost. Everybody bought out. Bro. Get on YouTube. Hey, it's my turn. Hey, you can see me on the screen. Hold me down. Put the white down. Your Black History Month is crazy. Um, hey guys, uh, we just got done running the 4x4, four four, and I actually sound like, I actually sound like a man right now. And you're reading the lyrics. Z is just going off right now. Is this recording? It says record. Oh. Oh, no. Here you go, Dan. Z. Coach, why you like that? Yeah, it's wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jesus gave me them vocals. Mm. Okay. What's up, y'all? So, I just got back to my room, and today was such a good day. Like, oh, y'all can see me in the back. But anyways, today was such a good day. Like, like, like I told you, I couldn't really tell y'all because I was, like, overly tired. But I ran great today. I PR'd, y'all. I ran a 23.7. So, I am content, but it don't stop right there. So... Tomorrow, I just got the 60 and then I can chill. But yes, I opened up with a PR and I'm so proud of myself, you know. And Jesus is so good because he was by my side. So, you know, so I'm finally back home. Finna edit this video and I'm finna go to sleep. Cause I'm tired. And we just came back from all over and all that this and the third. So that's how my day went for the first day of the meet. So I got y'all with the next day tomorrow. And we gonna keep it going with these bangers. Like I said, I've been doing good with posting back to back. So I got y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye, have a great time.